the beautiful scented blooms of Rhododendron fortuniae. Now sit high up on the shrub as we've had to raise it over the years to keep the ground below open so we can enjoy plantings right up. And the erythroniums now probably over their peak. Certainly the revolutums, many of them are going past. We still have some of the yellow hybrids, pagodas here sharing beds with trilliums, trillium grandiflorums. These are a range of our own seedlings that are where we were crossing with the pink trillium grandiflorum roseum. And even as the erythroniums go over, they still add a degree of colour. It's no surprise some of them and some of the trillium flowers look a bit battered because since the last week we've had wind, rain, heat, sleet, hail, snows and frosts. So they've all that to contend with. However, the moisture going into the garden was welcome because the ground was really quite dry. So. It's a double-edged sword. One, you've got the damage to the flowers caused by the harsh conditions, but then you've got the relief to them as they get more moisture at their roots. So just a mass of trilliums. The hellebores are still good value. Flowers long over, but the bracts remain. Beds are growing up. I can see all sorts. And as the, the, the main flush of erythroniums, the pinks, of the revolutum start to go over, it's the, the creamies and the whites, californicums that come through. Here's more californicum types, another trillium. And as we move around, we can see this area where I'm going to create a new bed. Another area over by the Himalayan white birch. There's a robust erythronium revolutum hybrid next to the other parent of revolutum is californicum. In this case this is the white beauty. Quite regularly these two and they're close together in a garden you will get hybrids. In the raised bed, the anemones, 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 looking good. I come round other rhododendrons, the lovely wren, the yellow, just a mitch match of rhododendrons. These are all the dwarfs, but they're now three quarters of my height. Lots just intermixed. And Molly, let's walk on. So different forms of an anemone. Nemorosa. There's a Paris. Some kind coming there. The Jeffersonia. Mechanopsis, of course, seed everywhere in the garden, just like erythroniums. Mechanopsis and erythroniums. Anemonella. Electroides, down cornus, swekica, tiny cornus, oops, I'm nearly falling again, tiny cornus. I hope it'll settle and produce flowers. The wee myanthemum, the cushimena, another neat little plant next to the trillium hibersonice. And if we look over, an enemy bland, or that's just rather battered and weather swept, but seeded into the path. Go off from this way some more 
for the dendrons. The big bed looking quite green at the moment. Lots of nice leaf shapes. Because there's been a check, we had an early warm period where everything came early. And then it cooled down and it was quite dry. So that slows everything down. So there's a bigger gap between some of the flowerings this year. Lilies, lots of different lilies to come up. The bracts making some of the new rhododendrons. This is rhododendron decorum. Really stunning even without flowers. It's a year there's not too many flowers up on the, the bush which sits, you'd really call it a tree. It sits well up there now. You can see one or two buds. But the new growth is just lovely. So we move round and over past the pond or the dendron Mackinoy with a bare area below where you can see the stumps where we cut it back last summer and we have yet to get the planting swept back in there but we will. So lots of trilliums of the chloropetalum stroke curibiashi. Erythronium still going. More of the our own pink seedlings of Trillium grandiflorum. Erectum, Trillium erectum hybrids. There's Flexipes, Semeles, Rugales. All different Trilliums come up in this bed now. Big leaves of the mandragora come round here to the. This is perhaps the the best of the pinks. This this group here is um, the Gothenburg pink strain or pink line. Really nice, really dark pinks. They're really good. This is a rotted an eris, a trillium. Sorry that got absolutely trashed with the weather. Cuneatum here, you can see the, the damage, weather damage on the leaf, the spotting caused by the hail and the sleet and the snow. Nice chloropetalum hybrids. And if you come into the, under some of the, the wee bushes, we come down to, please in combination with the, Primula vulgaris going up into the anemone cross lipsiensis or cross simaniae. This is the form pallida, which is, as you can see, as near as you're going to get to a primrose yellow. And so we see the garden that's continued to develop. The green stage leaves of cardiocrinum not going to flower this year. We had two, two flowering spikes last year. This We've just got immature leaves this year. It'll be another year before we see them. Trillium erectums. Pritillaria. Pallidiflora. And around here, still to come, Pritillaria pyrenaica, Pritillaria calmshatensis. And so it's probably a good point to, to break off now. As we look some some of the parts of the garden. And it's just always so much to see, even when we know what's here. So I'm going to cut now and maybe do another video later.